Hi, this is Ben Gaines with Adobe Analytics Product Management. In this video, I want to walk you through a new feature of segmentation throughout Adobe Analytics that lets you take a user sequence and then focus in on what happened before or after that sequence. I don't exactly know what to call this feature, but hopefully this example will help you understand what you can do with it and how you can apply it to your own data. So you can see I've got a, a fallout visualization loaded up in Analysis Workspace, and I'm looking at what is basically a shopping cart funnel. Pretty straightforward stuff, something that we're probably all familiar with from our own lives. Um, but an interesting question that I might ask as an analyst is, this is my most popular product, the Timberline GTX Boots. When people get to the end of the shopping cart, and then they don't buy that product, what do they do after that? Is there another product that they go and look at? Uh, is there something else that, they, uh, that they, they head off in a different direction to do? So this feature makes it really easy for me to get to that insight. So what I'm going to do in Fallout, and there are plenty of ways to do this. You could go build your own sequential segment, but I'm just going to take a shortcut and create segment from touchpoint. You notice I'm, I'm not starting with the order because, uh, well, actually, I, why, don't, why don't I start with the order? And then I'll show you what I'm going to do. Now, again, we, we want um, cases where people didn't, end up placing the order um, in this in this sequence right we want to look at when they get right to the end of the shopping cart and then they bail so I'm gonna make just a few changes to this segment the way that it was generated for me I'm gonna set it to visit because I'm interested in these things occurring in a you know in, in a user's thought process within a within a session within a visit um, I want to change orders to does not exist because we're again we're looking for cases where the uh, the uh, customer did not place an order and then I'm also going to um, set this to uh, within one page view right so that that says uh, that you know as long as the order did not occur uh, on that next page view we can we're gonna look at what happened to to these people and here's where this new feature is is added uh, up at the top of my canvas here under definitions you have this include everyone and this is going to show up when you're building or working with a sequential segment as you can see I am here with my with my then uh, operators in between my my different clauses and this is just a drop down and I can choose only before this sequence or only after this sequence and this is going to again control the data that's returned by this segment instead of returning all of the visit data for anyone who followed this sequence this segment is going to return only the data from these visits that occurred after that sequence. All right, and you can see my numbers. Uh, I'll, I'll do that again so you can watch the difference in how much data is going to be returned. If I do include everyone, uh, you know, quite a, quite a bit more page view data is going to be part of this segment. When I do just after the sequence, you notice that that uh, drops significantly. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, name this segment, and I'll call it After GTX Checkout Bounce, or something along those lines, uh, and I'm going to save it. And the question I'm going to ask based on this segment is uh, what, I'm going to come down here in my project, uh, and I'm going to add a new, I'm just actually just going to take product and drop it there on top of uh, on top of uh, product finding methods and then I'm going to apply this segment under revenue and this helps me see what products people looked at after they bounced out of the shopping cart after they left that shopping cart process when they had added the GTX boots so you can see that a, a decent number of them end up going back and buying the GTX boots but there's actually another product that uh, they they buy even more than going back to their shopping cart, and that's the Wasatch Extreme Parka. So I, right there, gain some insight into maybe a product to recommend to these people as they're in the shopping cart buying the GTX boots, maybe uh, get them to buy the Parka as well. Um, and I, I, I get that insight from this new ability to uh, focus on just the data that comes after or just the data that comes before um, the, uh, the sequence that I've defined.